Welcome to your full face evening massage. My name is Elise, your favorite face yoga coach, and this is excellent to do before bed. It will help you wind down and get a very peaceful night's sleep. We're going to release tension in the face and activate our lymphatic drainage for brighter and glowing skin. You're gonna need a little bit of face oil for today's massage, and with that, let's jump right into it. Good evening, beautiful face yogis. We're going to start by taking some oil and applying that to our face and neck and chest area. I want to rub it in my hands and then press it into my skin. You can do this massage either after you've cleansed your face or before you're going to cleanse your face. Either one is totally fine, but make sure you have clean hands. We're going to start with a few neck circles. So take a deep breath in, look gently up, and then slowly make circles with your nose one way. We'll do about five in each direction to bring circulation and flexibility to our neck muscles here after a long day of maybe working on the computer or staring at your phone. Take a deep breath in, a long breath out, release from that. And we're going to massage our chest area going underneath your collarbone, massaging the entire chest and neck here. We want to activate these lymph nodes so that as we start massaging our face, our fluid has room to move downward. So giving your shoulders and your neck a nice massage here, massaging above the collarbone, come to the sides of your neck. You can activate the lymph nodes in this area. A gentle massage, releasing any tension and pressure from the day. Move to the back of your neck and give the back of your neck a little love here. Finding what feels good and release. So we're going to start with a forehead lifting massage. So take the area in between your index and thumb and use that against your forehead to lift upward. So while one hand is lifting, the other one comes and lifts right below it. So we're holding up at the top until that next hand starts lifting. So you'll start from one side and then move over to your other side. So now we're in the center here. Notice as the top hand will stay until that bottom hand starts lifting. This is an excellent massage for really lifting and brightening the forehead, releasing any forehead wrinkles and tension in our forehead. Keep lifting here. Connect with your breath. Relax your shoulders and your neck, and you can go ahead and release. Take that same area between the index and thumb and lift your forehead. And then taking your first knuckles, we're going to Move pretty vigorously back and forth, releasing any tension in your forehead area. If your forehead is already pretty lifted and smooth, you do not have to hold it up with your other hand. But in the case that your forehead is more scrunched, you can lift it up as I'm doing. So take your your knuckles and then this time we'll move vertically. You may have to move your hand to be able to do this, just play with it. So we're releasing any of the stagnations and adhesions in the forehead that cause tension and tension wrinkles. So find what feels good here. When you're ready, you can release. Great job. Take two fingers and place them on your third eye center and behind closed eyes, look up to your third eye. Take a deep breath in through your nose and gently start massaging in a circle around your third eye. Fan your two fingers out towards your hairline and then repeat the same process, massaging in a circular motion and fanning your fingers out to your hairline. As you do this, try to deeply relax and clear your mind of any thoughts. Go ahead and switch hands, and then we're going to do the same thing. Calming your mind, gently massaging your third eye, 
and fanning your fingers out towards your hairline. So not only are we connecting to our third eye center and calming our mind, we are also releasing tension in the forehead muscles that pull inward and cause frown lines. Go ahead and release. Moving down the face, we're going to massage our circular eye muscle by gently lifting the outer edge of your eyebrow and circling around the eye muscle, going just underneath the eyebrow. We want to really massage the transition where the eye muscle meets the other muscles of the face surrounding it. So you can open your mouth slightly if that helps you get a better canvas here. Go ahead and switch sides and then use whatever finger feels good here. We have oil, so we're not gonna be pulling the skin, but you do still want to be gentle here as the skin of the eyes is more thin than the skin on the rest of our face. Open your mouth if that helps stretch things out and give you more room to massage, and then go ahead and release, great job. Next, we're gonna bring our thumbs to the Collect Bamboo Acupressure Point, which sits right at the inner part of the eyebrows where our nose is meeting our eyebrow. And holding here is going to be great for calming and quieting the mind, for releasing pressure in the head, and also helps with headaches. But it's great to do before bed to help yourself start winding down. So breathe in through your nose, keep sitting up straight. You can let your head fall into your thumbs if that feels good for you, or you can press your thumbs into your eyebrow. Go ahead and release, great job. Next, we're going to massage on the side of the nose. So you want to open your mouth so you do not create a wrinkles on the face and to open the face here and then we're going to use our index finger to make circular massages moving upward from the base of our nose all the way to the bridge of our nose so this area is often very tense next to the nose and up along the side of the nose and we want to release tension from this muscle keep massaging in a circular motion upward and this can, massage can be into the bone. So you will feel into the bone here. It can be a little more firm of a massage since we are trying to relax the muscles here. Keep breathing, sitting up straight. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Relax your forehead and your chin. And then now we're going to massage outwards, starting at our nose, making tiny movements outwards. This is going to help free up our nasal passages so that we can breathe clearly and also release tension in the area. Go ahead and release. And we're going to do a two for one massage. So make knuckles with your hands, sculpt your cheeks, and then massage down towards your jaw. So we're sculpting the cheek from the center of the face out to your ears and then move down so that you're massaging and releasing tension from your jaw. As you move down, open your mouth so that your knuckles have a nice canvas to glide upon. So it's a two for one benefit. We are sculpting the cheeks underneath the cheekbone here and then releasing tension in the jaw muscle. This should feel really nice. You may experience some tenderness or tightness or stickiness in these areas, and that's all the more reason to keep massaging through these areas. This is one of the massages that I think absolutely needs oil. You're going to be dragging too much without a nice glide. We're gonna move on to lip pinches. So take your index finger and thumb and gently pinch behind your lips. We wanna release tension in this area. We have a lot of muscles that attach into our circular mouth muscle. And this is an area where we can store a lot of tension and tightness. We want to release any stagnations or adhesions in this area. 
and this is going to help reverse upper lip lines and lines around our mouth. Your lips are completely relaxed as you're doing this. Take a deep breath in, a long breath out, and go ahead and release. We're going to move to the jaw and give the jaw some love. So take your knuckles and gently make circular motions into your jaw muscle here. This is a deep muscle massage, so go as deep as is comfortable for you. You can make vibrations up and down side to side or make circular motions whatever feels the best for you go ahead and release and we're going to move on to jawline toner so make hooks with your fingers start at your chin move out to your ears and then up towards your temples giving your temples a nice little circular massage at the top so starting at the chin moving all the way to the ears and then up the side of your face ending at your temple. This is a great massage for sculpting the jawline, lifting and toning the jawline, lifting and toning the sides of the face, releasing tension in the jaw and the muscles of mastication. Make sure you are releasing tension in your forehead, the area in between your eyebrows, relax your neck, your shoulders, and keep breathing through your nose, calming your mind, and when you're ready, you can go ahead and release. We're gonna end with the lymphatic massage, so take your palms and the, your fingertips and gently swipe your forehead from side to side, releasing any tension and fluid from your forehead, moving it to the sides of your face very gently here. The lymphatic part of the massage is always a skin deep massage. Moving on to the eyes, we're going to lift the outer part of the eyebrow and sweep underneath the eyes, really moving any accumulated lymph and fluid that may have built up under our eyes here, all the way out to your hairline and to your ears. Go ahead and switch sides sweeping from the inner corner of your eye all the way out to your hairline to reduce dark circles and puffiness from the toxins that may have accumulated here. So a few more out to your hairline. Go ahead and release. Take your thumbs, place them under your chin. Your fingers start next to your nose and sweep outwards against your cheeks towards your ears. Again, this is fairly light pressure. This is not a deep massage. Just helping to move the limp out towards the lymph vessels and away from our face for a bright and glowing skin. When you're ready, you can release. And we will sweep the neck. So place one hand on your jaw. The other hand sweeps from your jawline all the way to your collarbone with light pressure, make sure to go all the way down. And you want to make sure your neck is stretched so that your hand glides easily downward. Move to the other side, making a few sweeps on this side, releasing any of the fluid downwards so that we can eliminate that from our face and from our body. Keep breathing relaxing your face and your head, and then go ahead and release. A few collarbone sweeps on each side, moving from the center of your chest all the way towards your shoulder. Go ahead and switch sides, moving from the center outwards. Take a big, deep breath in through your nose, a long breath out, and then go ahead and release. We're gonna finish off today's workout with an acupressure point called peaceful sleep. So to find this point, you're going to bring your finger behind your ear, about the middle of your ear, and about an inch away from where your ear meets your head. You wanna move your fingers around until you feel a little indentation or divot, and that is where this point is. So you will feel an actual spot, 
And once you find it, you're just going to want to either hold and breathe or make small circular massages at the point. But as you hold here, breathe in and out through your nose. Relax your forehead, the area in between your eyebrows. Relax your jaw, your chin. As the name of this point suggests, it's going to help reduce agitation and restlessness, helping with insomnia and letting you get a beautiful, peaceful night's sleep. So hold here for another breath. Relax your shoulders and your neck, and then go ahead and release. And that's it for today's evening massage. If you want a free PDF of the five exercises and massages to do daily, I'll link that in the description. Thank you so much for practicing with me. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe to the channel. Namaste, and I will see you in the next video.